Hey guys, so today we are going to be replicating an experiment done by another YouTuber, Nile Red. Uh, one of his more recent videos, he had extracted DNA from strawberries. Um, and then he decided to try it out, eat it, and see what it tasted like. Um, one thing I wanted to see, though, is the DNA, the chromosomes that are extracted from the strawberries under a microscope to see if we can actually see what they look like. Uh, what he ended up using was just a bit of water, some dish soap and some sea salt and crushed up the strawberries with it and that had broken apart most of the cells and uh, the cell walls and allowed the DNA to be removed. Then he mixed it with some ice cold isopropyl alcohol and then the DNA floated to the top. So that's what we're going to try to replicate here. Um, I have the isopropyl alcohol in the freezer at the moment. I just got a bottle of 91%. In the video, he used 99%, but I don't think that a little bit of extra water is going to kill us, considering that we've got about 120 mils of water that we're going to be adding anyway. So the first thing I need to go ahead and do is start breaking these strawberries up. Start squishing them, um, damaging the cell walls, essentially. And once I get these squished up, I will make up a solution of that water, um, that's about you know, 15 to 20 mils of soap and a tablespoon or so of salt. Now, he recommended using non-iodized salt. Um, and all I have at the moment is sea salt, which, you know, it's not iodized, but it's sea salt. It's got some other stuff in there besides sodium chloride. So I'm hoping that that does not mess things up too much. I guess we'll find out if it does, but I'm hoping that it doesn't. Now, I am not going to be doing exact measurements when it comes to the salt or the soap. Um, from the way it looked and the way this works, I don't think it's gonna really make that much of a difference. These strawberries were from my daughter's lunch. She had taken them to school and decided not to eat them. So that's what we're using here. They were kind of not all that great at the moment anyway. Okay, so most of these are pretty well squished. So, let's get some soap in here. something to stir it.
Okay, so the alcohol is getting pretty close to being done. And I don't have a sifter to sift out a lot of this large uh, chunks in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut a hole in the corner of the bag and let it drain out, hopefully keeping most of the large chunks in here. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and filter it. It's kind of working. Now it's just a matter of filtering it out. This is going to take a while. Okay, so I finally have all of this filtered out, and the alcohol is nice and ice cold. As you can see, there's condensation on it. I've also got a petri dish and a slide to load with the DNA once this is done. Now, on Nile Red's channel, the reaction was pretty quick, so I'm going to zoom in on this while I pour in the alcohol. It all should be starting to float to the top pretty much immediately. And as you can see, there's a jelly-like substance at the top. So we're going to mix this up. And then we're going to let everything float to the top. And this goop on top is the DNA. We're going to let it settle a little bit more. 